down along the inside, cuts the corner beautifully to the extreme outside, trying to rally back on his Justin Mitch, and Justin Mitch is after Changing Karma, but Cheryl Carlton put up a spectacular ride here, and Changing Karma coming home to win by two. And Hey Sexy Lady, now the one they're going to have to beat. And Hey Sexy Lady is now getting stronger as the race gets longer under a hand shove from Cheryl Charlton. Can win it easily here on the inside, trying to close it now as Trash talking with run from between horses is highly cynical. Zaliana is coming back on on the far outside. And the mare Zaliana went a long way, but Cheryl Charlton gets up to win in the final strike. Well, a montage of uh, some of the more recent wins uh, for Cheryl Charlton, of course, before she got injured, uh, middle part of last year. She joined us on the set now. It's been so long since we've been able to see your smiling face out on the track, but good to have you here Thank you. joining us. Thank How you, you doing? I'm doing good. It feels good to be back, definitely. Well, it's great to have you. Thank you. I know, considering the fact that uh, in your career, earnings in excess of $3.6 million, you're a 20% win rider. You come back, you're looking to make a comeback. How are you feeling these days? I'm feeling good. I'm, I'm definitely doing a lot better than I was like even a month ago, just walking around. I know yeah. you kind of saw me kind of limp a little bit. Looks like you're still feeling it a little bit. First of all, tell the people what happened. It was, uh, I think, August the it was, 5th. What do you remember? It was August 5th, and it was the first race. It was the only one that I rode that night, my only mount. And um, we're in the gate, and... You know, normally she's she's okay. So we're in a gate, and she's kind of, you know, acting a little bit nervous. And Joe, who always handles her every time, you mm -hmm. know, I ride her, he knows, you know, don't grab her ear or whatever. So she's kind of acting up, and he's just trying to get her to settle down, and she, like, jumps forward and, like, right into the front of the gate. And okay. So, like, my head's, like, about to hit the top of the wow, gate. Right. And then I'm thinking, like, oh, okay, like, this isn't good. Like, if she goes back like I need to get out of here well the mm -hmm. next thing that I know is I'm basically like hanging upside down oh like trapped in the gate basically. Yeah, I'm, I'm trapped in the gate my left leg didn't make it out wow. um yeah so I'm I'm you know hanging upside down and I don't really feel any pain really yeah it was weird so I didn't thinking okay I'm okay get me out of here well I'm thinking like you know what's taking them so long to get me out well True. my foot was kind of I guess my foot was stuck junior who you know, had helped get me out. Right. He said that the stirrup got stuck in the gate, which is why my foot didn't make it out. Ugh. So when they, you know, pulled me out, I see my shin basically just like fall wow. in half. So I'm <clears throat> holding my leg up, you know, and mm. they don't know really how bad it is. So they're like, oh, you know, let go of your leg, let go of your leg. And I'm like, nope, it's broken. So uh. they just put me in the ambulance and. So you knew right then. It'd be a oh, long yeah. road to recovery. Oh, yeah. And you had, ended up having surgery, I obviously. Had, yeah, um, I had surgery the next day. Yeah. So I was in the hospital all night, and then um, I was Friday, so I got released Sunday. Um, I just wanted to get home. Definitely didn't want to be in the hospital no, anymore. No, it's no place to be. No. So, yeah, they released me, and they put a... Not really like a cast, but they wrapped my whole leg up all the way up to the middle of my thigh, and I have a rod in it now. Mm. So and did the doctor tell you, you know, <clears throat> it's going to be a year, it's going to be three months, it's going to be six months to kind of give you mentally a time frame of when you could expect to come back? Yeah, he told me on December 15th um, that it would be about a year. So wow. whether or not a year from the accident or a year from when he told me, right. I'm not really sure. Um, but, I mean, even then, even if it's a year from the accident, you know, it's been five months, so I still have quite a ways to go. Yeah, so you know we're really close to be working horses in the morning no. or anything like that. Okay. Are, no. you, are you undergoing some sort of rehab right now? Yeah, as as I'm going to physical therapy. I'm going to a place on in Santa Fe Springs. Um, I really like the place. They've, you know, they've helped my leg out tremendously. You're not on crutches, so we saw that. I mean, so you're, you're, you're walking, but it's not like you can go run a mile. Definitely not, no. Um, I'm walking pretty good today, but obviously the more I walk, you know, the, the pain will start coming, and so then my limp gets worse. So I basically, I, I'm not really doing much. I'm just going to physical therapy. Um, I was stuck inside for, I don't know, a couple months. I mean, wow. I, I couldn't drive. 
My car is a, a stick shift, so obviously I need my a left foot. A lot of pressure, but yeah. Dave, Dave will let you borrow his car. Yeah, yes. or I'll Thank just Uber you. you around, you know, okay. whatever. Just, just let me know. He's got one of those Tesla electric cars. I think you'll appreciate it. Oh, that. I like those. Nice blue. I, I, like no. color. I wish. Oh, yeah. I love Teslas. But they're, be nice. they're nice cars. Take they a are. look at uh, some of your biographical information. That's and a, a nice picture. And a nice way. beanie also. Thank you you. Probably, uh, that I, picture, I, you know, that's really cool. Les was like, oh, take, you know, send me some photos. I, was like, I really yeah. don't have any, so I just, that's what I did. I just snapped a shot. I, I snapped like 20 to get one good one, but. I, I think what's, what's, what's probably going to get you through this whole kind of physical therapy rehabilitation is your attitude. You've got a wonderful spirit. Thank you. You've obviously earned your place in the hearts of many viewers out there. I hope so. Many fans, because when we put our hard earned two dollars on a horse ridden by you, we know we're good. And, and as a gambler, as a former trainer, as a, a manager, whichever, we want to know that our two dollars is being represented. So. You know, your your positivity and your, your attitude, above all, is what's going to make you back and, and get you back. And do you feel good about the comeback? Or are you kind of, you're kind of feeling like, I hope everything works out, but oh. I'm just going to play it by ear? No, I mean, I think everything will work out. I think I'm going to, you know, come back and I'm going to be exactly where I left off. You know, I'm, I definitely don't think I'm going to have a problem with mounts. You know, I mm -hmm. think I'll still be riding for Angie and... Obviously, she, her horse has always run good. Is she your favorite trainer to ride for? <laughs> uh, not taking anything away from she's, anyone else. I think she's the nicest Angie person. Aquino. Yes. Okay. Yeah, I so think she's the nicest person. Kyle uh, Stazerowski, he asked your favorite trainer, obviously a person you've developed a relationship yeah. with, which makes the confidence oh, level yeah. to... And, and your favorite horse that you ridden was Hey Sexy Lady. Yep. And that was an Angie Aquino horse. It was, yeah. Right. We're going to show you a race. Love it. This Ooh, was yes. an allowance win and a yes. very fast performance from her uh, on this night. We're going to take you back to October the 9th of 2015. And uh, she's just pulling away. Man, she always ran with her heart. I mean, how you mentioned, you know, me riding with 100%, I appreciate that. That's how she was every time she ran. She gave yeah, it you can like feel her that. all. Yeah. Right. I mean, and she was just so classy. And I'd come in the morning and I, I would get on her, and she was just so cool to ride, just so laid back. And she's, you know, she was so versatile. And she was, she was a really, really, really good horse. And she wasn't your first win. A lot of people would remember that. Oh, my favorite horse was that. But her characteristics and her personality that you, that yes. you remember most. Yes, definitely. Yeah. So as far as passing the time not only are you rehabilitating now and going through therapy and, and, and doing your best to stay positive what else are you doing the time are you reading books catching up on movies um, Wow yoga? I, can you Netflix? do yoga at all or I cannot do yoga yet mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> I, I. I think I'm, I'm, I'm getting close yes, though sure. I'm getting close right. um, I definitely have caught up on a lot of TV shows yeah um, I did make it out to Vegas for the Supercross, oh, which good. I yeah. wanted to go to last year so bad. So, but you're working. You said the Supercross. I was working. Supercross. Yeah. Supercross? yeah what is that it about? was a Monster Energy. It was like the, oh, no yeah. Kidding. So I, I love that. So I, I went there and I like the Saints. So I made it up north to watch the Saints play the 49ers. Oh, excellent. Yeah. So there's, you know, I haven't been doing too much, but I've been, you know, trying to do some stuff with my time since I have all this time. Right. Do you? follow the races still i mean some people when they get hurt they're watching the races every day every night or do you kind of want to knowing that you're not coming back too soon just put that off your mind right now and maybe watch when you're getting closer in the beginning i definitely didn't want to obviously i did you know because i wanted angie to win and i was you know supporting her and everything um i think now i'm kind of more like used to not riding and right. i'm okay with kind of watching the races but i'm okay too like not watching the races so we can go either Fair way enough. yeah a couple more questions for you we're going to first go out to pompano park though where we're getting a little bit closer to race number 11 if you want to stay of course if you got any, yes. anywhere to go no nope. okay good then, yes. then stay right here we'll come back and uh, talk to cheryl a little bit more after we go to pompano park where the Happy Face Tummer as the wings out now, and here they come for the 11th on a 12th race program. Got a four to five favorite right now 